Hey, we're at Outside Land. It's gonna be crazy. This the whole Major Laser squad is here somewhere. And uh, we're gonna party here coming here too. Aww. Hi. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Dibble? No. Like Dibble. Dibble. <laughs> oh my god, Dibble. Welcome to my super unflattering bathroom lighting. That's right guys, just as Diplo himself said, yes Diplo from Major Laser, <laughs> what? I am at Outside Lands, and the first thing you gotta do when you go to Outside Lands is get ready to go to Outside Lands. I'm not sad about the Silent I'm not sad about it. By the way guys, the entire reason that I got to go to Outside Lands is because Google Chromecast invited me. What? They had the cast land booth, which was amazing. When I got to the actual festival, it was insane how many people were there, but one thing that I love about Outside Lands is it's kind of an older crowd. You definitely don't see a bunch of 16-year-olds, like, going crazy. I spent the majority of my time at the cast land booth, no joke, because there was so much fun stuff to do. This isn't even me being like, brand is amazing! Legitimately, the Chromecast booth was so much fun. I got to get designs put on my eyes, I got to meet Diplo, of all people. I interviewed the Knox, which are an amazing band. They also played at Outside Lands. It was just fun because they used all the Chromecast gear to like play games up on the screen. You could put your own videos up. We put Jin's video up on the screen at least like 30 times. And it was just a good space to go and meet you guys, too. I had a little meet and greet, which was amazing. And overall, it was just a good time to be at Outside Lands. And I think next year, if they have another booth, I'm probably going to be hanging out there quite a bit. Okay. Gets countless bruises and has no idea why. <laughs> we spent a pretty good portion of our time eating food as well, not gonna lie, and they had some pretty bomb stuff there. I got a vegan Korean bowl that was nuts. I was freezing yesterday the entire time we were at the festival. So, I went to Urban with $200 and got myself a winter ready outfit. At night, Outside Lands turned into a different world. It was amazing. There were lights strung all in the trees. There was a bunch of amazing bands playing. I'm telling ya. So we raved quite a bit. Once again, I gotta give major props to Steph and Jin for hanging with us while we went and watched Zed. It was so much fun going with them. Where are we going? <laughs> We are going to Twin Peaks to see Zed. Yeah, yeah, yeah! One of the most exciting people that I saw that legitimately melted my face off was Zed. Zed was nuts. He did like a video game tribute, which was amazing. And <laughs> the entire time I was watching it, I really just wanted to play Pokemon Go. So I did. And I caught some good Pokemon while I was at Outside Lands. We spent nearly the entire night at Zed. His set was pretty long, which was awesome. They were so sick. I would highly recommend going next year. It was an amazing time. So in conclusion, thank you to Chromecast for sending me. It was an amazing time to get to go. Thank you to everyone who came up and met me. I gotta say, festival crowds, everyone I meet at festivals is always the sweetest of my subscribers. So thank you for enjoying the festival with me and seeing music with me. I can't wait to go back next year. And on that note, I will see you guys later. Bye!